the words of the Chief of the Air Staff Sir Richard Knighton before the Defense Select Committee earlier this year, the document states that a Tier 1 ACP will be operational by the end of 2024, while Tier 2 systems will be part of RAF Combat Force by 2030. Knighton also emphasized at the launch of the strategy that the armed forces must be less risk-averse. To deliver the pace of change needed for operational relevance in a future fight, we will need to do less testing and live with lower standards of performance and quality, he said. By their nature, high-risk operations carry higher risks, so we will be, in fact, must be prepared to tolerate higher levels of operating risk to achieve mission success. The higher end, Tier 3, drones are likely to be developed and built in conjunction with allies, as we have previously written, and it will be surprising if Boeing's Ghostbat drone is not under consideration. However as the strategy document makes clear, the UK's initial focus will be around Tier 1-Tier 2 drones. Based on current operational context, i.e. Ukraine, the document states that the RAF has developed niche solutions in the Tier 1 category which are capable of delivering bespoke effects in operational theaters now. Little detail of the initial Tier 1 drones under development has been released other than a brief mention of the name Auklet and Banshee. Banshee is the name of a decades-old naval target drone that has recently been updated and, according to some reports, adapted as a one-way attack drone by Ukrainian forces. Meanwhile, the AE systems have been quick to promote its ACP concept aimed at Tier 2 simply called Concept 2. The company says it aims to have the drone flying by the end of 2025-early 2026. All of this will, of course, take further funding and, as that document discreetly puts it, the exact level of resource to be allocated is yet to be defined. Funding decisions appear then to be left to the next integrated defense and security review likely to be held in the wake of the summer general election. US developments alongside these larger future autonomous drone development, the US is also funding a separate program called Replicator to field attritable autonomous systems at scale of multiple thousands, in multiple domains, within the next 18 to 24 months. Specific details of what drones will be developed under this program have yet to be revealed. Pandora's box The development of autonomous drones, both armed and unarmed, is rapidly outpacing discussions in the international community around the need to control these systems. We are quickly approaching a point where once these systems begin to be deployed, it will be difficult, if not impossible to put them back in the box, 